Okay, ten and oh. Let's see what um, range of play we're going to get today. Don't usually bring the bishop out here, but let's give it a try. I think we're one move behind. It's going to take. Yeah, so we're not going to get this. We're giving them the fried liver. Oh, okay, they're not going for it. Let's go with this then and see what happens here. The take now, yes. So if we, we take, we're one move behind all the time in this sort of scenario. So it's fried liver time. I don't think I'm doing fried liver though. I think I'll keep my pieces on the board. Thank you very much. Yep, I'm not bothered about the fried liver, so you can attack me all you want. Let's go here. Queen's coming here. Come here. So the plus side is we've got more pieces on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they've got one, two, three, four, five. Can we make that count for us? Let's see if we can. So they're trading down. I don't mind trading down because we still have more pieces than them on the board. Stealth Queen. trying to get the pieces out as best possible and they're trading again like I said don't really have an issue with the trade we don't have to take I really want to get this knight out to get the rook in the game but they I think we can do that I think we can move the knight just to get give the rook some space it's not gone for the trade knight's got this it's sad the rook's not there. So let's get the rook in. They'll probably look to trade. Let's go here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. There's going to be some sort of exchanges going on in this neck of the woods. First one. Yeah, like we said, they're going to be looking to get the rook off the board, but don't want to lose too much sleep over that. Let's take. It's got a check on, it's not got double doors, we can take. Gets the rook off. We already knew that was happening, so let's go here. We inputs the check. Or do we block with the queen? Goes with the check getting my knight. Let's bring this here. Rook comes and puts a check. And I have to hide here. Hide here. Queen's got no protection. 
Attack in the night, maybe. I was looking to come down here. What's he actually wanting to do? Now he's got a nice spot there, but can't get there because. Do, 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 do. Attack the queen. Don't think they'll trade it. I don't think they'll trade it, no. Coming for the bishop, knights protecting. Oh, come on, that was mouse. I wasn't even a slip, I was clicking on the damn thing. I was going to put the queen here. Oh, damn sensitive mouse. Oh, that spoiled it all. I'm not getting that time back now, am I? I was supposed to push the queen here. I ended up dragging the bishop down. Oh, that's annoying. It's spoiled the whole whole pattern now. Knight can attack and attack the rook and attack the pawn. We may as well do that now. That's I've totally messed it up now. Takes the pawn. Get the rook. I'm not celebrating because he's still got a queen. Got my pawn, but a back rank mate if he goes for the pawn. Oh, he's not going for the pawn. So we've got plenty of time and we've got... Okay, nice one. And oh, what level of player we got in this game? Support the pawn, support the pawn again, double in the pawns. We're trying to avoid that, but the way we've opened up, okay, giving us a little bit of reprieve, maybe. Get the night out. Queen is out. Okay, let's get ready for castling if we can, if they allow us.
its castle. Okay, let's hit the bishop. Okay, what's my choices? <clears throat> my old favorite is attacking the bishop here and not minding doubling the pawns. But we're trying to stay away from that as best possible. So I think we'll just hit the bishop with the pawn here. Trying to respect the pawns. Hit the knight, but he comes here. So I think we just stay like this. I really don't trust doing this one because when they do take this thing, it does create a bit of a havoc in front of your king. But let's see if they're going to do it. Don't really like the bishop. Oh, okay. Don't like the bishop having this diagonal either. The knight's come in, it's attacking the bish. So does that mean we can push? Not disrespecting the pawns doing this. No, no, that's fine. Seems to be covered there, that's covered there. But they usually push this to so give the space for the bishop. But if they don't, get the bishop for free. So it's hard staying away from what you've been, you're used to practicing. And I think for me, it's because of those blitzy type um, games um, where I can kind of get away with that type of maneuver, you know, attacking the bishop and then just doubling the pawns here it does give a nice access through but if you're playing a longer play game that is really a bad kind of weakness that you're having to contend with i'm going to push here rather than capturing trying not to give the bishop any power but as we know the head of the snakes usually falls so let's get ready to just take So we don't have a supporting pawn here. Looks like it's a slow paced thing, so we're going to bring the bishop here and attack the pawn. But the problem we have is this diagonal. So our best off just moving the king out of the way. Based on my experience, move the damn king off of that diagonal and it's easy to drop this one in as well pawns there type thing but I'll probably stay away from that for a few more moves this one probably next and pushing here, simple. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the quicker games is where I've been utilizing some of the naughty moves you know, which kind of go away from the mantra. So now that I know this, I obviously can change my, my mindset in terms of how I deliver my longer play games. The short play, I think more the bullet, I would probably do that type of stuff. Not even the blitz now, because the blitz can take a while. And if the person's taking advantage of that as a weakness, then we may as well just change that practice. So they've actually just 
done a small pawn move which is stopping the bishop from coming here so that's almost like the saying i'm afraid so we're going to go with what we said with our plan of this it's only a two-step maneuver but you're feeling that it's better attacking towards here towards their king area he's not taking the bishop so he's not interested at all he's looking to blast through we do have pieces that can protect i'm going to hit the pawn and stick with the plan that we had. Eventually he takes, so we can take with the queen, it's um, doing the same job as what the bishop would be doing, in a sense, but doing more. So if they do take, the knight can take, etc. I'm happy with that. Let's go. There's no benefits of the knight taking, is there? Because, I mean, are they going to just push down onto the knight? And where does the knight go from there? Hmm. Maybe there's more benefit taken with the knight to keep the knight safe. But it does keep my queen on the back. So the queen takes. Pawn pushes down rather than takes. My knight can come here. It is on the edge. It's just that it's kind of out of the game, isn't it? Because it can't come here. I suppose it can come here, can't it? To then come here. Yeah. Taking with the queen. So you don't want the queen stuck on the back for too long. The knight's got a bit of play potential. I think. I'm trying to convince myself. And they have done. So I'm going to move the knight like we said. Don't want to bring it over there it's going to be doing nothing try and get it to give our king some company so what they've done is they've blocked their own bishop which is um pretty dangerous isn't it because now their bishop doesn't have anything to do so we could take with our bishop to give it some life i don't think i'll take with the rook because the pawn's just going to hit it so for now, I think we'll take with the bishop, give it something to do. So we've got pieces eyeing up the king, but there's nothing clear. And we're wanting this knight to try and get some tempo to get to here at least, maybe. I don't think they'll give us that time to do get settled. Maybe they're doing all this. No, okay, so the knight's gone to the side. Which means our queen could come here, but it's not going to last very long, is it? Bishop's just going to get hit. Hmm. Get the knight off the back. Bishop's just going to get hit anyway, is it? No matter what we do, the bishop's just going to get hit. Queen coming here, looking for the cheapie, but that's not happening. But if they did that, we take the queen is there protecting. Change, change it, change it, change it. Queen here, looking for something across. Would attack the queen from there, but if we go there, they can just go like that blocking the queen and attacking the bishop so nothing doing at the minute so i think the knight is going to be moving to try and give my king some company but like we said this is just coming here so do we keep our king with some company with the bishop as well kind of an odd one because it's not really hitting their king area it's managing this diagonal but there's nothing going to be happening on that diagonal because it stops the rook from coming around here oh we could take queen takes go for the queen exchanges i think we'd rue the day if we didn't take it going to take it i'm assuming the queen's going to take but let's just wait and see 
Yep. Tack. Probably going, no chance. I'm coming for this pawn here. By the deliberating. That's the spot. Oh, they're not going for the spot. Let's take, mash up the pawn structure. That's a small win. If ever I saw one, the tiniest of wins, doubling the pawns in front of the king. But what do we do with it? I can come here. All this funky business. Head of the snakes getting hit. A backward pawn here. Oh, I don't know if I'm liking this. Where's the power base? Let's throw the knight up. Make it look like we're going to try and double up on this. When really all he has to do is that. <laughs> and he's doing that anyway. <laughs> okay. I can't even go here. have to be a small move something like the rook coming here still trying to go for something let's go here support this pawn some sort of attack coming on that's the only place i can see them attacking this this head of the snake here to make space try and get the rook round and i only just got settled there he's got two pieces on there so we can't take can't take, there's no fancy, oh there is fancy business but our rook's going to get hit because the king just drops king just drops nowhere special could we'll go for a trade but he doesn't have to trade and then my rook's going to be stuck in the middle isn't it, kind of trapped go here, and then he says no thank you goes there I can't come back here because of that pawn. He goes there. Knight puts the check on the king. No, the king comes down. No, it's not close enough. There is no. That's the no zone. There's no. this rook cross but my rook would be so out of the game I mean going up here it's not really oh hold on if it did go there then the knight went like this check king can't come down here so it has to go into the corner There's no mate. I think that's going to be a bit ugly for our rook. Uh, and even if he did take, we're going to lose the pawn because we don't have anything be able to protect the pawn. So we're going to have to move back, which is a shame. Stay on the dark square. Yeah, okay, stay on the dark square, just move back. God, I used up a lot of time there. Arty thinking. Get this rook across. He's moved his king because he didn't want that check. So has the knight got some other... No, there's no way around here, is there? Oh, there is. Look at that. Have I done that picture right? Down, 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 down. Oh, very good. That wasn't there before, was it? Surely. Don't think they'll give us that time though, they're going to be hitting one of the heads of the snakes. Oh, like we said. Now we can keep that like that because it's kind of locked down, isn't it? Because if we take, then we're opening it up for them. The rook will just take. Okay, let's continue with the knight stuff.
look at my time I've got to speed up now so I've got my plan of action which is trying to get this to here to here yep but like we said at least I've done the head of the snake with that side now the next one is going to be this one but will we have time to get our night there time is running out well it's good to see their time's running down as well we're in bullet mode so anything goes yeah like I said head of the snake's always going to be hit isn't it damn let's just hit this thing but does that change my I can't go here because his pawn's going to be there and I can't go there so let's continue with more oh Oh, he's wanting to double them up. I'm not having any of that. He's wanting to bring them back, sorry. Yeah, so I'm not getting time to get to go to there, am I? Because he's just going to come behind here. Yeah, brings his pot rooks back in. So if he takes, we take, pawn comes out. If we take, he brings his pawn back in. I'm going to continue with the knight move. Maybe I should have taken with the pawn. I was just thinking then, but never mind. Continue as is. They're on dark squares. King can come here. His king will be looking to try and come down here somehow and split them. Ooh, shy, let's go here. Anything? There's nothing really. So the knight can't come anywhere. Can bounce here though, so maybe there's a positive, but everything's covered off on the white squares. Go here. They might get a draw. Where's it going? Oh, he's squeezing in there. No, we don't want any of that. Just squeezing in there. What's this got? Any forks? No. Uh, no forky business. Oh, we won on time. Nice one. Let's have a quick look. I think it's a draw, really, but I just want to have a look. Just to ease my mind. Yeah, it's a draw. Nice one. Good game. Okay, ten and up. Again, let's have a look at what sort of level of play we're going to be playing against today. Let's hit the center. Let's grab the pawn. Let's take the pawn off. Take the knight off, sorry. Let's develop the bishop like we do in this um, type of opening. They're flicking like crazy, so I don't know if they're going to last too long. Shall we go for the CP? See whether we get away with it. Queens come down, okay, that's um, odd. What do we do? Oh, this would be so nice. Just bear with me, bear with me. If we can get this and then the bishop here, x ray through to the king. Oh, they're seeing it. Okay, so this is next level. That's no problem. They're not, um, they're not asleep. 
Let's castle. To in the queen. Let's bring the queen here. Bishop's coming to x-ray through, but he's thinking of, oh, do I lose my pawn? Probably hitting the queen. Oh, let's take. Let's take. Yes, they've got a quirky business about their play. Let's hit the bishop with a small piece. Bishop's jammed in at the minute from its own pawns, which is a good thing for us. But it will be coming here. Let's take this nice and simple. Let's bring in more pawns into the center. I'm going to attack the knight. This pawn is protected by the bishop currently. Knight has moved. Let's just attack the pawn. Just remember the bishop is defending, but this pawn is going to drop here. Let's bait the pawn. Let's bait it down. Yep, yeah, let's bring the bishop here and hit this pawn. They feel so switched on, they're going to be blocking that. Oh, let's hit. King like crazy. Let's hit the bishop. Currently got no protection, but if the rook goes there, then we get the... Oh, man, they're seeing stuff. They're seeing stuff. Let's hit the rook with, with that capture. Yeah, that's next level. They, their vision is quite... Quite good. Take with the check and then put another check on, do we, maybe? Yeah, just to give them something to think about. I've got to be mindful this is coming. So he's getting a pawn. Oof. Move the knight. The knight, what do we do? Look at that. Look at that position of that bishop. It's beautiful, isn't it? Can't do a thing. Okay. When you can't do a thing, just do a pawn move. Let's block this pawn. So let's move the king across so there's no x-ray. Still no attack type things, it's all the same. Can't do anything. Could come here, attack the pawn. Knight's protecting. Mm -mm. Can't find anything to do. Push up on. Maybe push this one. Try and get onto white squares. Oh, the knight's got activated. Just sacking the pawn. Go here. Right. What looks different now that the knight's moved? Nothing yet, but this pawn is unprotected per se. So bring this here, attacking the pawn. Obviously the bishop is not coming there because the knight will take. So the knight, no, nope, lost his position. Or do we take and get the, just take it off the board and see, we won't get that pawn, will we? Oh, we will. Yeah, we will. Because the bishop is not going to save it. It's a bit manic at the minute, this particular game. This guy's a little bit good. And we're going to take, and then they're coming here, but the knight will take the bishop. Like we said, the knight will take the bishop. Okay. Okay. Wow. That was smooth. Do you know, I, I did like this player's playing style. I mean, it... I might have been seeing it through different eyes or whatever, but yeah, they they were seeing stuff, they were blocking stuff off. Yeah, good game.
Okay, last one for this mini series. Let's just have a quick look at what sort of level we're going to be playing today. Hmm. Let's do the bishop blocker. Let's push this in the center. Hmm. Let's bring the bishop. Let's castle. Let's get the bishop in the center. Get the knight ready and ready and raring to go. Respect the pawns. Do nothing or capture. Do nothing or capture. I like to capture. Um, it's not disrespecting them if I'm capturing. Let's capture. Let's get the knight out. Queen attacking the queen. Take the queen. Bishop's protecting the knight currently. Let's attack the rook. I believe the knight can attack the pawn. Give them something to think about. They have a move it, or they have moved it. Knight can then go and attack the rook, making it make a decision as to what are you doing. Let's do that. Still come back here with the knight for safety. And one of these bishops is a lucky bishop. Which one is it? Dark square bishop feels like it's the one. Take this knight after all, bishops here, bishops cover in here. Or do we just bring the knight back into into the fold? I'm going to bring the knight back into the fold and see whether or not we get the chance to attack the bishop. They're looking a bit lively and yeah, they look like next level to me. That's cool. So if we did do that, then we would lose because the bishop would take. And then we'd lose this bishop. Anything else to do? Could bring the knight here. Don't think the bishop will take. But bear in mind, if that, that bishop moves, we can take their knight, can't we? So it'd be like, a, we attack, they take the knight. We take their knight bishop. The bishop comes back. Oh no, the bishop comes back to defend the knight. So we'd have to take the bishop first. Right, okay. So let's do that again. We we'll go here. They go, yes, thank you very much. We go, yes, thank you very much. I think I'm losing the thread here. <laughs> I'm losing the thread. That goes there. The bishop's taken. That's taken. The bishop takes that. Our bishop takes theirs. How does that look? That looks okay to me. Let's do it. Let's attack. Watch it not play out like that. And I spent all that time doing that calculation. Or they fight. Oh, they have gone for it. So we take. Then we take. Oh, didn't reckon on the bishop taking stuff. Looking for a little squeeze here. But he's going to be sit. Well, not sit. Oh, come on. Cut me some slack. So we can hit the knight again. Okay, so that's putting pressure on their situation, but also he's got a back ranker potential. So we're going to lose a bit of tempi. And we can't actually take the knight anyway because the bishop's protecting. Oh, it's all gone to pot. From that silly calculation. Should never have done it. Too arty. It wasn't straightforward. Yeah. That was a waste. 
That was a waste. I can't claw anything back from that. Apart from knowing I'm going to get back ranked. Can't even hide behind the pawn because it's just going to take it. Right, what can we do? Attack a pawn. So we've attacked the pawn. Nothing doing. It looks like they've got it all sewn up. Knight around. Nope. Push a pawn. Push a pawn while I'm thinking. Let's take. Okay, they they believe they are winning. They're plus one. They're confident. Hmm. We need to knock that confidence a little bit. We we'll just come back here. Just need to find a bit of magic. Bishop's got all of that covered. Bomb. Knight can come and defend. Attacking the bishop at the same time. Ooh, block now and then start this process again. <laughs> uh, oh, attacking the knight. We're gonna block. Oh no, if we block it though, his rook's just gonna come down, isn't it? Attack this pawn. Attacking the knight. Oh, we can't take the knight, so I'm not attacking the knight. Let's see if we can get a pawn. Oh, what's with the defense? What's with the defense? Oh my god, I can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere. What am I doing? Wow, can't do anything. Hmm. There must be an answer. More potatoes. Let's see if we can hit this. Got the power of the pawns. Let's see if we're fast enough. Let's hit the pawn. Take. Don't know if we can beat these. Too slow to the party. Get rid of this knight. See ya. Goes round to attack it. We can defend it, we can't defend it. We can't defend it, so we'll have to go and do a two on one here. King's on a white square, so let's x-ray through. Bring the rook here, that might get the knight off the, oh, they're seeing stuff, man. They're seeing stuff. Unbelievable. My gosh, Let's see if we get here. Yeah, very good. Oh, what is that? Now he's on the bishop. I was going to do mine. Attack the rook. I here. Get the knight off the board. Wow, they're good. Look at them seeing every damn little thing. Oh. Wow. So we've got three pieces there though, so we should be okay, shouldn't we? Put the check on. Take. Oh, we're not beating them pawns, damn it. Well, maybe we might get one of them. Take. Take. Maybe this one, isn't it? But they've got a poor majority in the end game. So it looks like we're not going to put a white pawn there. This is on a white square. Let's go do this then. Let's 
try and get the king here. Oh, on the white square there. It's going to eventually push down here, isn't it? What do we do? What do we do? Let's go here. Go here. Go here. Here. So his king's going to come down for this pawn, isn't it? And in fact, he's going to come round here to try and support this pawn pushing down. So he's going to stay on the dark squares. Start pushing this down, so we have to stay close by. Could just move my king, couldn't I? Yep. Going for the other pawn, dude. King can go up and defend it. Then he's going to come here. Hmm, does that mess us up? Go back down, he pushes the pawn. Hmm. Go ahead. Why is this not flashed up threefold? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it did, and he took it off. That shouldn't be allowed. It should stay free forward. He's wanting to win on time. There. That's the one. Oof. Good game. Yeah, tough player. So that's the last one for this session. Excellent.